Well guys, let's add two to the last video. So you're gonna get two today. Yeah, it's been like 15 minutes. <laughs> Lars doesn't say, no, we're gonna fix the vacuum leak. I ran to the parts house. Yeah. So, we got our spacer plate. Hang on. Another 40 bucks. It's yeah. just money, right? Yeah, yeah. Like he says, they make it every day. I just wish they'd let me make some of it. You and me both. Do. <laughs> here we go. So, let's get this done. All right, so here we are back at it. Everything cleaned off. Uh, Lars is saying he knocks the stuff down off into the intake. Uh, I see some stuff down in there. So, let's get that out, and then we'll carry on. All right, so... Lars went and bought this stuff, so I'm going to let him put it all on here. I think that goes there, right? Yeah. New gasket. Which way does that go? I'd put that down. That down. We might need some new bolts. Let's see. The last one was 7 eighths. This is a 1 inch special. Right? Yeah. Then that. You got her, man. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And then the fuel maker. Oh, crap. Now he's got to go find the car, brother. Because we was done for tonight, but no, he wasn't happy. <laughs> he was like, nah, we fixing that. We got to take the motor out and do the oil pan fix or gasket fix. Might as well get all the, everything else done. So, there you go. And if you guys haven't really been over here watching this stuff, this is a, uh, it says torque, but it's an RPM performer intake. Um, but if you don't put that spacer plate under that thing, dude, you're in for a bad situation because it runs like crap. So, hang on, let's bolt this down. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, at this point, we got her all back together. Let's see if we still have a vacuum leak. Uh, we didn't glue anything down. I hate uh, using that stuff, but, you yeah. know, worst comes to worse. We'll glue it. We'll glue it. We're going to try it without it first. New so, gaskets, new spacer. See what it does. Hang. He's idling a lot lower now, y'all. Mm. We might have fixed our high idle situation. Hang on. Alright guys, I don't know if y'all can see what he's doing, but to get her out of the right, we're working on a secondary. Not, uh, I don't know. Alright, right, hang on, let me check. So, let's check the gate. So we've solved the vacuum issue. Now we're just gonna solve the oil pan leak issue. But yeah, um, I can't remember the guy's name. I watched you know, working on these little hollies. Yeah. But he was saying never adjust the screw on base idle. Yeah, the base idle. Do it. You do it on the secondaries, and you'll get it where it needs to be. So, that's what we've been doing. Um, and right now, dude, this thing sounds 10 times better than it did. Uh, at least you can adjust the idle. Yeah. 
So now, next, pulling the motor and fixing the freaking leak. Leaks, leaks, leaks. If you know Chevrolet, leaks, right? So, there's what we've done tonight. Uh, we're done. I got to go to yeah, work. Exactly. Lars See y'all on the next one. Yeah. Lars Maybe. Lars I'm this damn thing up. Lars won't go to lay down. But we'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care.